hello there welcome to this channel in this video we are going to talk about css3 media queries here we have a test container for media query let me change this or change this also to media test media query here by default we gave it uh, three columns and we see here overflow it is not so nice user interface and we want that for different devices with different resolution and dimensions this has different columns now three column is good if uh, this is a, a not a wide uh, screen for example for smartphones uh, for uh, you can also change uh, the device here inside the browser let us say iphone se now this is good three columns for this but uh, if it is higher than that let us say if it is uh, for ipad then you have more space uh, change it to for example five columns in bootstrap you have breakpoints we will talk about that now why media queries so media queries are used to check the following things width and height of the viewport or the screen uh, size width and height of the device orientation you can change it to landscape or set the style if it is in landscape give this style if it is in portrait give this style and then you can listen to uh, the resolution you can control the print this is the print control p print or print this page now we are seeing all of this in this way by using the print media query you can control the layout of the page and change it for example you want only this paragraph to be printed when you want to print it we will uh, see this later but first let us talk about this and how we can uh, give uh, in the way bootstrap gave us the columns you have uh, their call hyphen is m for small and then the number of columns we will also um, going to give that such class names and gave it to the container media types you have different media types for media queries and css you have the type all that includes sprint screen and speech so the screen also includes uh, like uh, the landscape portrait and stuff speech is uh, for a screen reader print is for printing and all is for all of this so the syntax of uh, media query is uh, not only they are not mandatory you can choose and then the media type you can say all not all only all or something or just all and then here you have and it is mandatory you have to add and and then the expression if you want to add another expression you have to use again and and here expression and the expression can include be a landscape portrait minimum width maximum width it is good uh, that uh, i mentioned maximum and minimum width uh, let's talk about mm, that now that is also important for responsiveness so media query is mostly used to create beautiful responsive web applications so that your web application or your website is available for all devices and we all know that most people use a smartphone and most people use uh, mobile devices uh, smart devices with uh, tiny dimensions so it is important 
that uh, your website looks perfect and beautiful user friendly uh, in all devices so that is why media query is important that everyone who works with CSS knows it here we say for this now with this all div this all div inside this container as a width 100 pixel we can give here minimum width 100 pixel and then max width let us say 300 pixel now it took 300 pixel because it has a space when the screen is smaller and smaller it also gets smaller but it will not go below 100 because the minimum width is 100 pixel it's also important because if there is some text inside of this and uh, you give uh, the minimum width uh, very small let's say 10 pixel then you will take us will not show up now this width caused also overflow so now it has overflow and you can scroll that but there is no device with this uh, dimension so minimum width minimum height uh, maximum width maximum height are also used to create responsive uh, user interface now let us change it back to width 100 pixels back to the media query here we give column 3 so column 3 is the general we also give another class here call say is small 3 and then we say column md medium 5 And then we say column lg it and we change in this one column xl 12 so now they look like this one column because uh, this columns does not exist yet so we are going to create breakpoints for small, for medium, for large, and for extra large. First for small. For small devices in Bootstrap, is the breakpoint maximum 557. We say Marcus. 560 pixel and in media query we say media screen that is uh, the type and mags width is 500 pixel We want that one call a small three and we say here grid template columns auto 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 let's 
let us see so now that's not the breakpoint so the maximum value must be 560 so that that class would not breakpoint workers inspect it and then give it here now the maximum width is 820 if we give it this much now it hit the that breakpoint we have three columns can also change in the height of it is parent container now it is parent container has a height of 300 pixel we also say test media height the, the test media and we change the height to let's say 600 pixels now the child elements fit inside uh, it is parent so that is for uh, our uh, first breakpoint for the small devices and let us copy this multiple times for another breakpoints control v in this one for medium we had medium 5 i guess medium 5 to be 5 columns auto auto columns and then for the medium we want it to be 770 pixel and the max width 770 pixel you can also give here height minimum height maximum height and then let us uh, test that it changing because it uh, set a uh, max width here we have also max width as you see there is a problem i am glad that this happened in our CSS, we have here max width 560 pixel and also max width 770 pixels. The 560 pixels did not work, even the width of this is 375, and it jumped to, to the media query with uh, 770 pixels because we use there the max width so here we have to replace this with minimum width so that it means that the stored point of width the stored width should be this in order to hit this breakpoint the minimum width must be 770 pixels so now it will work as expected let us make it only responsive like this this is still 547 and then above that it has nothing 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 and then this is now five columns so for the resolutions between 560 and 770 we also need a media query for that control c control v and change this to minimum this one minimum this one and we want it for columns let us call this a small four and uh, extra small three so for x is extra small three 
column is small 4. Let us see it. Now you see it is uh, four columns. Now it is 546. So 559, three columns. Above that, four columns until 770. Four columns and then it goes to five columns and then you see many spaces uh, here you can change that using the justify content uh, justify items align items align content and etc we talked about that uh, uh, previously when we talked about uh, grid and flex Here you can also specify how you want to display it. For example, justify content center. So on minimum width, the justify content will be center. Now you see that is only in the center of uh, this container. Now let us create breakpoints for large and extra large. For large, say thousand, minimum with thousand, and then LG, we said eight. You can specify uh, who whatever you want this is just a tutorial just an example so now here we have five columns and we need more three to make it eight now eight and then make it 400 1200 for extra large XL 12 so here we have it and we copy this one instead of typing it and here we have 5 8 for 12 and we make this back 300 it will be okay now let us test thousand now eight columns and for 12 it is 12 column so this was about using media query for screen to listen on uh, screen sizes and then we have uh, media print and then as i said i want only this paragraph to be displayed and the rest of them i don't want on the print so this one has a class speech inside of this I say body display none everything inside the body display none and also visibility head on 
now let us see if I use control P to print I see just empty screen so there is nothing and I want that uh, the paragraph with the class is page uh, to be in display block visibility visible and we only see in that paragraph if you want to print it is uh, very important and uh, very nice to control the printing of your website because in case some people print it you want it to be printed very nicely customize it and then uh, make it uh, what you want to get printed and what you don't want to get printed uh, and etc you can add extra stuff for example i add a copyright text and i also add that the copyright text to be printed and here i say copy in right and sign copy say all writers reserve it 2023 say here also and just an example we give it a class And inside of this, inside of the print, we say paragraph copyright control C, control V, and also we make it uh, font style italic and then take us the line center now you see it like this copyright .com, all right is reserved and 2023 when you print you say print or control p you see it like this you have the takers and then and the copyright text is now italic uh, under the center You have many options uh, for print media query you can also mm, change uh, the the print border the, mm, the page margin and uh, page breakers uh, and etc well we are uh, you want uh, that the page should break for example if there are multiple uh, pages let us do an example of uh, the orientation in media query say media screen and here you have orientation you can give here landscape or portrait by default it is portrait so we say landscape on landscape we want the body background to be black the body and everything in the body should have background black and color white and make this important because some elements have specified background using class name or it name or element name we talked about uh, CSS specificity hierarchy so in this one this uh, general selector 
has uh, the minimum or the lowest uh, specificity hierarchy so that is why we have to use important here now it says it is a landscape actually by default it is landscape so let's change it to portrait Port, portrait and then you can inspect it and change uh, the orientation when it is portrait it will have background black and color white except in this one is uh, just the uh, border image so that this image uh, has nothing to do with the background can select it here the iPhone and then in the landscape it is like this in portrait it is like this so mobile devices are portrait by default if you change this back to landscape now by default is like this if the user changes or rotates his or her device it will look like this this is just an example you can do anything you can do outside the media query so you can create any style inside the media query it uh, doesn't matter it is orientation it is a screen or anything else we are now at the end of this course I really hope that you learn something from this video I put a lot of time to create this course so it is very important that the course is useful for you thank you so much uh, for watching and uh, supporting uh, my videos